What's up, boys? Today I'm going to be playing the engineer maintenance worker, so I get some extra damage and reload speed. I start with a kinetic construct, and I'm looking for the level 24 gunner weapon, the seismic repulsor, which is also a kinetic turret. But instead of like spraying bullets or anything, it does a short range pulse around itself, which does a small amount of damage, but also applies a knockback. And then there's an overclock for it that allows it to slow like cryo weapons do and then eventually freeze stuff. So I'm looking to stack a ton of reload speed, fire rate, and lasting duration, and just permanently CC everything on a full construct build. And then for other weapons, I don't think anything is super important. I could grab the shock fence and the flamethrower turrets to have four turrets, or I could grab the acid drone to apply the crow debuff, stuff like that. Maybe cryo drone for some CC, but I'm not super invested into any of that stuff. Let's grab the early blue move speed there. I think I'm going to go for the gold real quick to make sure I have rerolls to try and hit the turret. Let's see if I can bait that guy away a little bit so I can get it. Early luck is great. I think I can do that yet. It's gonna take me a while to get through the nitra there, and there's a lot of enemies. So we'll swing back a bit later. Probably get my level 5 first and see what I get. I guess grab the fire rates. So crit, damage, damage. I think I just like the crit here. I don't like taking the movement speed reduction early on. And there we go. Seismic repulsor, construct turret, kinetic area lasting, four tags with the gun platform. That should be great for this build. Let's grab the seismic repulsor. Want to pump that as fast as possible and get all the overclocks for it. And there you go. A small little area. Fairly low damage, but it has a decent attack speed and it knocks back stuff. So it will provide a lot of CC to a build that doesn't normally have much. Got a magnet I can save for later. Grab the kinetic damage. It's going to affect my two main weapons. So it might be hard for me to damage these. I'm going to put some turrets here and then kite around them a bit. Yeah, this is going to take a while. So I am going to need to get some damage on them early on. Let's put some levels into the gun platform. I only have gun platform here, so I'll take the blue. See if I can pull them into the detonators over there. Go with the reload speed. Want to get a ton of that. Pull them into the detonators over there. It's pretty early on. I'll take the big XP there. Ooh, 50% damage for my main turret there. I think I'm gonna take reload speed. That's the main stat I want, even if it's one tier lower. Reload speed and fire rate on the seismic repulsor is what I'm really going for. Stat 
status effect. That's only maybe going to affect my third and fourth weapon. Don't really care. Grab some damage there. The repulsor can't be converted at all, and I'm going to leave that on kinetic to synergize with it. So the only real synergy here is construct stuff. We'll add some CC. I'm not going to be putting a ton into this, so I may as well just keep my gold. Lifetime will affect everything, and I want to get a lot of that for the seismic repulsor, so I am going to take that here. Early legendary pickup radius is pretty good. Early luck or armor, I think I'm going to take some luck for the upgrades. Reload, reload, damage. I think I'm going to grab the global reload here. Take the seismic upgrade, explode, or slow nearby enemies. So that's the cryo effect, and that'll add a ton of CC when they're hitting extremely quickly. Damage is the obvious play here, so I'm going to go lifetime for the lulls. So, reload on the gun platform. I think I'm just going to take the crit here. I've been dreaming of something like this. Now they're just knocking back and slowing everything. Oh, I forgot the magnet in the top right. Oops. I'm going to be putting a ton of levels in this, so I think I'm going to pass on the paint job and go for the fire rate here. Top choice. Explode or electrical, definitely not that, so take that. I will grab a little bit of XP, but I don't think I have time for the Magnet. Let's grab another Luck to improve the rarity. Get yourself onto that drop pod. It's about to head out. Stage one cleared. Be sure to spend your gold and nitro before the next stage. Reload speed is nice, but I can't afford that. I think I'm going to pass on that stuff and look for seismic repulsor stuff. 50% damage is decent. The stuff of Some early mining speed is very helpful. Your mission is clear. Get to it. How are they ever going to make it in this hellhole without me? So these are both sentinel or er, constructs and lasting and turret. I think the electrical debuff helps me out more, so I'm just going to grab that and not put many points into it. That will do a bit of damage and increase the crit chance against enemies affected by it. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. That's a dead end, so let's not go down there. Supplies blocked. Get the landing zone cleared. Healing or pretty bad stuff. I guess it's okay since I can actually stand still on a turret build with a lot of CC, but I guess I'm just gonna take that. Actually, now that I think about it, you can get that multiple times, but if I take this, I believe this removes it from the pool, which will increase my chance of getting more useful artifacts later on. So I'm just gonna grab that and hope that helps me get like the fire rate or something. Crit damage or the turrets that I'm not really scaling. I think just the crit damage here. Yes, please. Suck on this, you freaking nature. Your light up. Again, not really scaling those up much. The shock fence is okay. I do have a lot of mining speed. I guess I'll put a little bit into that. It'll do. So lifetime is helpful for getting a ton of turrets down which will improve my CC even more. 
And since I have the shock vents applying the electrical debuff, that'll improve my crit as well. I think just the reload speed to pump out as many turrets as possible. Go all in on the seismic repulsors. Say hello to my little friend. Look at that guy. Although it knock it knocks him back, but not the big juggernaut guy. Praetorian, that's what they're called. Go with the reload speed. Oops, didn't mean to pick that up early. 50% damage for the seismic is great. 20% lifetime is amazing. Lifetime or those, gonna take the lifetime there. Uh, I guess I could take the reload speed there, push overclocks for that. I think just crit damage over those. Lifetime, definitely. So that should be pretty high lifetime now. 18.5 versus 2.65 reload. Take the level on this seismic reload is fantastic, but I don't have that many levels into it yet, considering I'm level 37. Fifty percent on the cryo. I think I want the lifetime here. Kinetic damage, yeah, I guess. Really gonna need the shop Nitra upgrades to carry my turrets, or I'm not gonna get many overclocks here. I will take a paint job here, since the levels are looking pretty low. So another seismic level, fall around or explode. I'm not sure, this does make it easy to set up like a certain area where they can't get into, but this sounds like it'll probably help more overall. Now I can move around and mine with my little earthquake fortress. That elite never stood a chance. I will see to it there is a beer on the house when you make it back. If you make it back. I think I'm gonna look for some more levels on the seismic. It's pretty low. I rarely go for this one. I don't get much value out of XP now. Nothing that I really want there. Let me try again. Seismic reload is great. Movement speed is pretty better. nice. And I don't have that much left. We got work to do Just and quotas to meet. You have your objectives. After this, I'm taking the longest shower. 
sick to the core of glyph and stink. And then I'm getting so drunk. Get ready. So I've got pretty good movement speed, so the fire rate artifact would be extremely good. Pickled Nitro would be okay. Reload is okay there, but I do need the levels on the this seismic. These are all pretty bad. I guess the scaling HP for some survivability. Got some reload speed for the seismic. So I've got another two artifacts still available, and I really hope I get the fire rate one for this run. Well it's going to be absolutely insane with the knockback and slow stacking. Grab the reload speed there, another two levels, and I get the unstable. There's actually a lot of unexplored area up here that I haven't gone through yet. Should make sure to get all the gold and nitra that I can. Suck on this, you freak of nature! Bring the pain! Quota satisfied. Then there was a lot of XP that I missed over here that I can probably grab on the way back. Armor, fire. I don't know if that's gonna hit any more overclocks. I'm just gonna grab the purple here. I guess just some kinetic. Oh yeah! I needed that. Bring the pain. I think probably just the crit damage here. This is the smart pick. Three levels. Last time I got super close and didn't take a paint job. It took me forever and I re regretted it. That's so I'm beautiful. just gonna grab that here. I don't think three extra charges actually helps me when they're following me around already. That's a bit disappointing. I guess just salvage and hope to get reload speed. Damage is okay. The thing's gonna have massive damage on it. Plus 245%. Remember to mine for minerals as you progress deeper. Some more damage. Some crit damage. Don't think I care about those that much. I guess some global damage there. Don't really care about those stats on those. Maybe one more reroll. And nothing I really want there. Up 
I've got a bad feeling about this op. The damage is so low considering all the huge upgrades to it, but there's just so many of them and they have so much crowd control. I could go for an overclock there. I think I'm just going to take more reload speed. Oh, yeah. That being said, my boss damage is going to be very low by making these stupid choices, so the boss on the next floor might be pretty rough. Looks like there's a flower near that that I can grab. See you in hell. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. If I can set those guys off, that should destroy most of the stuff there and open up a path maybe. Kinetic damage, probably. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. Dwarves don't die. Well done, you got them all. There you go. I can't even pull him into the thing because of the, the knockback there. I guess just 5% damage. That's kind of boring. I guess crit damage. Sugar, gold, damage. Yeah, you can get that multiple times, so getting it didn't take it out of the pool, so I guess just some gold here. Or rather, gold damage. Kinetic damage. I'll take the reload for more turrets. Take a little bit of damage here so I can grab the red sugar for some HP. I can't grab it for some reason, it's just sitting on the ground. Oops, didn't mean to grab that so soon. I guess just the seismic turret here. XP, these are all pretty bad. Maybe a reroll. Some reload for the seismic is pretty good. Purple move speed is decent. I guess I'll just grab some more HP here. I think just the reload. It's mine. Congratulations, Miner, on completing the four easy steps. Next up is the final stage. 
Armor is decent, but I'm definitely going to need some damage for the boss, so honestly, let's reroll. Surely next time will be better. Crit chance is pretty good. Sure. Why not? Damage is okay, but I need some Nitra stuff. I guess that's alright. Kinetic damage is just pretty good, but I need some Nitra stuff. Let me try again. Give it to me. The gun platform should still be decent single target damage, so that's alright. Some damage there, that's okay. Can't reroll anymore. May as well grab that then. I'll get some gold here in case I want to reroll any of my levels, and also I do have gold tipped bullets actually. Yeah, anything not immune to knockback can't even get remotely close. I'm gonna take a bit of damage to increase my HP there, might help against the boss. Get this set up for the boss since my single target is going to be very low. Although a large target will actually be more likely to get hit by these. So with so many of them up, it might be okay against such a large enemy. Save that for later and clear out the surrounding area so I have some room to move around and bait out the charge. I killed a loot bug and I'm not so proud about it. I guess the gun platform here. In case I need to escape through the bottom area, and then the boss should be coming out soon. Go, my babies! Knock them away! Let's grab the... I could get an overclock there. I'm not sure if any really help with single target at this point, so I'm just going to grab the global damage here. That's a no wow. And see if I can bait them away from that and maybe pick up another artifact to help out. But that's a lot of enemies, so I don't think I can get through that. And he's dead anyways. 
Pretty easy win. Freezing Earthquake turrets seem kind of busted considering they don't even have a decent level 18 unstable overclock available really. So if you want to see more stupid builds, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Seismic turrets, pretty strong. Gun platform, decent amount of single target damage considering I didn't have much investment into it. The shock vents to apply some debuffs for crit chance and a bit of AoE damage, a bit of extra freezing there. So that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.